test cam DR10L so this is the equipment that we will be unboxing today and uh, what this is is a recorder with a microphone so what is written here is micro linear PCM recorder with lavalier microphone so that is exactly what is written there um, I do understand recorder I do understand microphone I do not understand what is micro linear PCM or lavalier for that matter um, so a disclaimer here uh, this is not normally a technical channel where uh, I do not understand most of the things so I cannot give you an explanation on the technical stuff however when I buy something uh, I tend to do the uh, unboxing video be it for this camera before be it for my phone where is my phone for this one I have done the unboxing also as well um, so it's just for it's, it's just opportunity for content hence when I buy this um, I'm doing another reaction video yes not not reaction sorry unboxing video okay, so it's a slip of my tongue because I have done so many reaction video compared to <laughs> unboxing alright so what is this is basically um, to capture the audio as you all know and normally what I do is I record with this video camera and of course it will capture the audio uh, together right and hence normally if you are listening to this this is my voice captured by this video cam um, I think it works fine um, especially when it is close like this this is like a, a hand length distance um, from me right it's quite close um, normally if I do reaction video it's much much more closer but now I need you to be able to see my face and also as well as some part of this table hence it's a bit further away but when I I record my class session etc this tend to be much much further away and then the quality of my voice tend to be lower right so that is where uh, I end up considering and eventually buying this earlier today um, so if you are interested actually to see what is the audio quality in comparison uh, that will be on a separate video I will try to put um, the link in the description below and also on some top portion, top um, sec sec section, what is it, top corner of this video, right? Um, uh, but I'm not sure whether it will be up uh, when this video is up. So it might be delayed for several days. So if the uh, link is not yet available, perhaps my uh, audio test is not yet uploaded. Hence, you might consider subscribing so that you will be notified when that is up. Alright, so, um, that's the thing. So, um, this, this camera is, is good in terms of cap capturing audio, uh, but it is not focused on me, right? So, that's the thing. You might still uh, hear some sound from my kids outside, um, talking or playing. Um, right now, it's uh, a midnight, so it's less hectic as normal, right? So, that's one thing. So it does capture the surrounding well. However, when the surrounding is quite noisy, my voice can be drowned down. So that's the, the, the challenge. Especially when the video is supposed for you to be able to capture my voice clearly. Hence, eventually I buy this one. Anyway, so I've mentioned if you are interested only and only on the audio quality comparison, um the video is a separate video click on the link when it's available this video will be about unboxing and see what is inside here and whatever i can discuss with that sorry for the long introduction all right so th this is quite a, a small package i think right so this size is like this right so it's quite small the device is small anyway uh, and that's one of the reason why i buy it um, so what is inside so this is basically the manual so this is test cam dr 10 l so uh, something that I might be needing to be referring to or for whatever um, I also have this this is I think uh, a free award-winning audio what is this audio repair software um, so I'm not sure whether I will be using or not or whether I will be needing audio repair software I know um, because I bought this in a music uh, equipment store so 
perhaps they record the voice for music process etc um, so perhaps this will be handy for them I'm not sure how much I will be needing it, but needing this but anyways so this is the receipt um, so we will discuss on the pricing towards the end of the video if you are interested in that uh, this is not a cheap equipment especially if it is in Malaysian currency this is about the software all right so what is inside the box so basically number one we have the equipment itself the recorder itself so it is th this size right so just to put in perspective so how to say so just to give you the the, the how to say the scale of the so it's 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 that length right and that size so it's quite um, thin and small um, so we have here the um, I think the jack for the microphone to go in and then that's the only thing here on this side we have um, you have your USB uh, socket there and then you have micro SD uh, to be placed inside here and then here I think is you can put the microphone uh, or headphone if you want to listen to the audio right so um, the most important thing <laughs> is it it is can you see that it is made in China so as everything else yep um, okay so on this side so you have uh, is it zooming focusing right now is it okay so you have the record here um, uh, on and off and record so it's the same switch here uh, you can pull it to the other side to each side so one is to on and off one to record and then what is this this is I'm not sure what is this plus and minus I, I, I assume it is for the volume control perhaps and I'm also not sure what is that hold uh, for, for I have to read the manual I guess and then uh, on the bottom here there's nothing obviously and the back here you can um, put the triple a battery so it is running on triple uh, a battery so that is the slot for the battery um, and then on the front okay so you only have four button and one screen there All right so um, we will see uh, because I have not yet tried this on and what is this menu and whatever right so there's only four button to 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 control this right so it's quite small and that's the recorder um, this is the hook for I think if you want to hook to your belt or something that's this one this one is the USB cable um, so this is to be connected here to transfer file to the computer I believe and then this is the microphone so this is the microphone okay what is this uh, okay so this goes into the recorder so yeah so this is the microphone so I have I can put this on and this is should I put it straight away? Eh? So what is the difference if I can I record this straight away without this? I'm not sure. I have never done this before. This is to clip um, to your to your shirt or something. All right. So that's the microphone. Uh, we will be testing this soon, but that will be in a different uh, video. And then the last thing here is the pouch. Um, so let us see. <coughs> so this comes with this pouch it have that test cam uh, logo there and then it's just a simple pouch with no it's like total pitch darkness right if you see from there uh, with no, no pocket no anything so it's just everything jammed into that I guess so um, that is the unboxing now um, when I buy this one uh, 
it doesn't come with what uh, all of the thing that is necessary for this to function one is this uh, runs on triple a battery so hence i have on the way back i have to actually go and buy a pack of triple a triple a battery right so that's one thing and also another one uh, if i open this here for the micro sd slot it is empty so i have also bought this uh, this is kingston micro sd um, the, the 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 what do you call this micro sd card is it and also the adapter there so this is 32 gb right hopefully i buy the correct one to be inserted here um right so um again the price point we will be discussing uh, much later uh, towards the end of the video if anyone is interested so um the full cost is this one plus the cost of this one plus this is going to be the operating cost right so the cost of the the, the battery and this can be used for how long i'm not sure yet Right, so this is the OPEX, the operating cost or operating operating expenditure. This will be the CAPEX as well as this one, right? So that is the equipment. Um, I think, um, what should we do? Should I just plug in everything? So um, we will try to see it, to, 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 to open this up and see how things function. Okay, so I have opened this up, so I'm taking it out now. So one thing is, oops, so I have this, this tiny thing and this adapter here. Um, okay, what was I saying? So I'm, I'm going to put this, so I'm going to be talking in the process. Hopefully it doesn't bore you to death. Um, one thing that I was wondering is, so is it like this? Okay, I assume we just follow the because that's the shape. Uh, if you can see that, that's the shape there. So I think I just insert this according to the shape, right? Just like that inside there, right? So that's my assumption. Uh, I think these things have to be designed to people that is IT blind like me. That is that I can actually guess what I should be doing so I'm going to insert this is it just push it all the way just push it really how do I put it back hmm? is it already inside and I can never pull it back how do I do this Okay, I hope I'm not damaging it. <laughs> okay, now, um, what was I saying? Uh, one thing that I was wondering is how normally people capture their video for unboxing where they have like the, the, the top view, right? Where you can see actually what my hand is doing. Uh, I I never know how people set up the camera to have that. But anyway, so I'm putting this battery. So Bismillah, let us see. So um, what I understand is I have to pull this to the side to on for one second, right? So let's go. So test cam the R ten L. So it give you. Um, the signal for the first time there no file and so you have the signal no file and then the battery is full right so the new battery so no file right so what should i do now should i just try to record um let's just plug in everything and see how it goes so i'm just winging it wing in winging it so the thing is about this is that um one of the reason that 
convince me to buy this. I'm not sure whether this is strong reason or not. Uh, this is because of the safety aspect, so to call that. When you put it inside, actually you have this screw here to make sure that it stays inside. Right? Yeah. Oops. So you have that mechanism there. You have the screw there. So that it doesn't accidentally pull off right so that's the thing um, so I'll just put this thing where is it okay of course if there's nothing more after this I'll just record the audio comparison and then make the other video straight away right so test 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 one two three so it's not yet recording but I think you can see there. Can you see um, the bar that um, show um, the level of the voice or audio being captured? Yeah. So yeah, that's among the thing that you can see, right? So I think I will try to record just to see what is the signal, and because I want to see whether my insertion of the card micro sd card is correct or not if it cannot record then sh it should indicate something is wrong so one second to the right and then is it recording yeah it's i think it's recording so you can see the signal there as the round shape is normally the record indicator and then how many seconds and of course the voice okay so i will need i will not be processing the audio right now so that's basically it so before i so why i'm talking like this uh, it's not even i'm gonna process it yet so onto onto the price so the price is quite high i think um especially if it's not for something important so okay how do i stop is it another okay yeah so it's another one second there and then it stop and then it says yeah it's um uh, it's square right so it shows the a square so it means that the recording has stopped so well um i do not have do i have let's try can i plug in just might as well i try to see whether i can play uh, the audio that I've just recorded so this is just plug and play right so can I play it how do I play it ah, okay 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 so i can hear my so i can actually uh i can actually how to say i can actually listen to the recording here just to check all right but that's the thing we will test the quality after this because when i hear it here it doesn't sound that nice so i'm not sure whether that's the actual sound that will be when the file is being put to the, 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 the video editing processing etc or it will be as such right uh, but I think another thing that I, I, I detect the the peaking or something because I think I'll just straight away the voice like that right? which is not good especially I do not have the cover um, to, to, to meaning for wind etc right anyway so to finish things off so this is the price um, that I've bought this is for Malaysian ringgit currency right so that is the price it's very high actually quite high um, yeah there you go 750 ringgit Malaysia so added to this where okay this one is another 50 ringgit so in total this is 800 ringgit so it is not a cheap device if you just want to buy a microphone I would say um the purpose i'm buying this is because i do record a lot of um talk session where this one this camera tend to be 
uh, near the audience and I'm walking around. Hence, I cannot really control the level of my audio um, in that surrounding and environment. And even when I record a class, right? Sometimes if I listen um, throughout the class, um, when I'm uh, at the whiteboard and this one is near the student, I can listen to the whispering of the students uh, saying bad things to me. No, that's just, just, just kidding. But they, they're saying stuff. So this one captured those whole thing. Um, but if I want only my voice to be the center of attention of the listener, of those who watch the video, I think something like this is, is useful. Uh, and I do talk a lot. Not do talk a lot. I do a lot of uh, talk session before where I'm quite unhappy with the end result, especially in terms of the audio, where I cannot control with this. So uh, this is a long time coming, I think, for me, because I hope I will be given opportunity to talk, to talk and talk a lot more uh, in sessions, basically, in daura sessions, etc., where I hope the quality of the audio for the final video is, is good enough for for the atten attention span of the listener. Anyway, so that's the, the whole thing. I do not know what else to say. So basically, 800 ringgit. I think if you are from the US, it's, uh, you can convert, right? It's basically for, so it's 200, 200 or less. If you direct convert 4 to 4.5, it's less than 200 bucks, 200 dollars, right? So it's, I'm not sure whether you consider it as expensive or not. Um, but yeah, but in Malaysian currency, uh, capex is, is eight hundred. This one is how many ringgits? This is nineteen ringgit for six. I'm not sure how many hours this will last, but that's the opex. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. If you want to listen to the audio comparison, uh, it will be on the up upcoming video, inshallah. Uh, hopefully, uh, soon in few days at uh, at most. Hopefully. Thank you for watching. Um, if this has been helpful in any way, do like the video, uh, press the like button, and you can also consider subscribing, especially if um, you want to be notified for the uh, when that video comes up in the audio comparison. Thank you for watching. See you next time.